Okay, so I'm gonna work on recall with Oso. I'm gonna show you my steps for that. Um, I always start out this command indoors. He's just on a basic six foot leash. Um, and what I do is I let him get his um, distracted or if I have a dog that's, I'll show you both ways that I do it. But when he's distracted is perfect because uh, I can call him out of whatever it is he's looking at and behind him, obviously. Um, probably my kiddo over here doing homework. So the process that you guys are gonna to wanna to practice is using the remote collar. I'm gonna press and hold the red, he's at a four. And I'm gonna practice this a couple different ways. First time, I'm just gonna press the button and I'm not gonna say anything. And I might give him a little bit of leash pressure to get his head to turn towards me. As soon as his head turns towards me and you can see the eyes are paying attention to you, he's not just still like, kind of looking off the side or somewhere else, but the head's turned towards you, um, then you can let go of the button and say the word yes at the same time. And then when he gets to you, because you're gonna get him to you, you're going to give him his food reward. So I'll show you what that looks like. So he's distracted, so I'm gonna do just the, the button first. And a little bit of leash. Yes, good boy. Then I give him this food. And I'm also walking backwards at the same time too. So this will take a little bit of practice. So that's, I always suggest practice it in the house first. Um, then what I'll also do, so flip flop um, between these different ways of doing it. And um, uh, eventually he's gonna get the hang of the remote collar as well as the verbal. Um, Cause I've practiced both with him. Oh, so come. Yes, good boy. So I didn't need any leash pressure on that one, but it did take him a second, but he was busy sniffing things. Good job. Um, go and do this in all the rooms of your house. Oh, so come. Yes, good boy. So that's just, nope, come. He's gotta come into me in order to get that reward. Good boy. Good job. Um, this one I'm going to, this rep, I'm going to use the remote collar. I didn't use it on the last one. Um, and I'm also gonna do the verbal command. So the button goes on. Oh, so come. Yes, good boy. And I'll show you what that looks like from the outside perspective. Oh, so come. Yes, good boy. Just the remote. Yes, good boy. This will be just the command. Oh, so cup. Yes, good boy. So if you want to step it up a notch, the next step would actually be to call him to you and then put him into a sit. Um, and so you won't give him his food reward until he's in a sit in front of you. So I'll show you what that looks like too. And you can use the remote as well for the sit if he's not doing it um, on his own or actually, sorry, mix it up. So do call to a sit using just a verbal command. So sit and maybe a little bit of food lore over the top of his nose if he needs it. Um, or you can le use leash pressure, but uh, don't use the remote collar on that one yet. And then do a couple of those reps and practice it then with the remote collar sit. Um, eventually what you're gonna wanna do is not give him the verbal cue at all. He should automatically come to you and then sit. So you would say, come, you wait for him to get all the way to you. If he doesn't sit, you might have to use the food lure and then you reward afterwards, but you would stop giving him the verbal command. It should start becoming automatic. So um, do it in phases, so different like steps, and then, um, and then practice it all together. Yes, good boy. Good 
Good. There was no remote or anything on that. Frick. Good job. That one was just all him. On this rep, I'll show you what the food lord looks like. Oh, so cup. Yes, the boy. Good. If that's too far, if he's too far, you can always bring him in more. You just say no, come. Good. You can use the leash to help. So we can bring him all the way up to you. Sit. Good. There we go. Good job. Frick. Good job. I really like doing the sit. Um, after the recall, because if you are off leash somewhere and you want to put his leash back on him, having that as a habit for him to just come back to you and sit in front of you um, makes that process a lot easier instead of having to kind of keep calling him and then be able to, like having to grab his, his collar or something like that. Um, he has that automatically just ingrained in his head that every time you recall him, he has to sit in front of you. Um, now you could, if you don't want him to sit sometimes, so maybe you call him to you and you're still out on a walk, you can say, oh, so come. And then before he gets to the sit, you say break. And then you just kind of keep him moving with you. Um, so that'll kind of help uh, curve that if you don't want it at certain times. Um, so just kind of play around with it, play around with which way you like best. Um, and it might be just contextual to whatever it is you guys are doing. Um, but having the foundation, it's definitely nice. So if you need it, then he already knows how to do it. So.